the campaign season for Belarus presidential elections, scheduled for August 9, has seen sweeping repression against civil society. The authorities have intimidated and arrested several members of the Democratic opposition and detained those who expressed their support to the leading opposition candidates. On June 18, hundreds of people took to the streets in Minsk to support the detained activists. The solitary picketers formed a chain staying in a line for six hours, calling for a free election process and the release of those in custody. Economic stagnation moves toward deeper integration with Russia and a poor response to the COVID-19 pandemic have made Lukashenko unpopular even among his traditional supporters. The authorities responded with even greater repression. Within the first two months of campaigning, the Belarus police has detained over 400 politicians, civic and opposition activists simply because they participated in peaceful protests. Events in Belarus in recent weeks have demonstrated that Belarusians want democratic changes. President Lukashenko has been in power over a quarter century, developing a reputation as Europe's last dictator. Twenty years ago, three political opponents of Lukashenko disappeared in Minsk after taking steps to impeach Lukashenko. Reports by international organizations indicate that there is a strong evidence implicating high-ranking officials in these disappearances. Authorities failed to investigate these crimes. Events in recent weeks have demonstrated that Belarusians want change. However, the possibility for the Belarusian people to choose is hindered by repressions. But there is a way you can support Belarus – by sharing this video, by making a donation to the Belarus civil society, and by protesting for the free elections in Belarus.